this rant video is going to be a bit different from what I usually do. Usually I just like record myself on my phone and I just ramble on for a bit. But with this I'm actually just going to record my voice and uh, obviously show some gameplay in the back. Don't judge me for whatever the fuck's in the back. But anyway, uh, our topic today is uh, sunsetting in Destiny 2. Honestly at first I thought, okay fair enough, I, I guess you need to get rid of the weapons away one way or another. But it's because... Well, the reason I'm making this is mainly because of the, like, as a lot of people have already said, like, lack of weapons and all sorts of stuff. Uh, can I just say right off the bat that armor does not deserve to be, um, sunset? Like, I get weapons, but why armor? Like, that, to me, armor is the one that just does not make sense. Like, we would not need transmog if we could already have, like, our older piece of gear. And like, for armor, there'll probably be always, like, be a piece of armor that we want high, and, like, if you're too lazy to swap out mods, boom, you just grind for another, like, high stat roll, you know what I mean? I I'm trying to talk in terms that I, I think that's how you say them all, Because I've been out of the loop of Destiny for a while, I think ever since, like, Beyond Light came out, but I've been back in and out of Destiny every so often, like, recently I haven't actually played since, I think it was, like, Saturday, when I was recording a bit of Iron Banner, but that's it. But, uh, yeah, no, like, I, I just wanted to get that out of the way first, because, like, there really is no point for armor to be sunset. Like, it, it, it I'm sorry, there just isn't, you know? Like, w again, with weapons, it makes sense to a certain degree. But I don't think every weapon that was introduced during a season of Destiny should have been removed. I think Bungie should, in particular, only give lifetime to a weapon once they've realized it's overpowered or something and you know instead of waiting like a whole year for it to go out maybe it'd be like three months six months it depends anyway and like maybe even from there they're like oh well this weapon's actually not doing as good as it used to so we might extend its lifetime you know like it's little stuff like that like i'll try and pull up on screen right a weapon that fucking nobody's probably ever heard of or like you know that sunset and nobody's ever probably got to use and see what it's like because all the Weapons are gone, or at least the one I'm showing should be a legacy one. Like, isn't it a shame, <laughs> whatever weapon I have on screen, that you'll never be, you'll never really truly be able to appreciate this weapon, at least in PVE, because, oh look, another weapon during its season was too powerful for it, we must get rid of the whole season. You know, like, it's, it's just stupid like that. Like, it's also stupid as well that, like, like, th Bungie could just say, like, ban this weapon or disable this weapon in Crucible. And if you try and go into Crucible, like, I don't think it'll automatically swap you out. It just won't let you access the activity until you put on certain things. But to be fair, if they did that, then people would complain that they've no choice to choose this, that, and the other. But to be fair, like, Mountaintop was only really overpowered in, like, PvP. Like, in PvE, you could say it was overpowered. But as a PvE player, like, do you really care about that, though? Do you care that you're able to melt the boss a tiny bit faster? Maybe, like, the bosses should just be improved upon. Instead of this fucking three-shielded tier system. Like, especially in strikes. That, it, just, it just pisses me off, man. Like, you go in there, and then, like, oh, you got a third of its health? Boom, magical shield randomly appears out of nowhere that doesn't let you do damage, like... I'm still annoyed by that, but then again, am I more annoyed of that or the stomp mechanic? I don't know, man. Look, all I'm saying is, Bungie need to introduce a boss. Like, and I think other people have said this before, so it's not my words exactly. Where, like, there's a boss that literally just snatches you and drains you of your health. I think that would be a cool-ass boss. Witch Queen, come on. We, we gotta have a boss like that. Have a Savathun do that or something. Like, you know the way there's, like, Oryx in the material world and then Oryx in his uh, Ascendant th uh, world? Like, have, like, that version of Savathun, you know, the smaller version, just fucking be a strike boss or something. But anyway, sorry. Um, back to the whole sunsetting thing. Like, again, with weapons, I kind of get it. But it it would be tricky as well to constantly identify what weapons are too much, you know? And, like, in the first place, you got to argue, like, if they are going to add an overpowered weapon in the first place and they knew it was overpowered, why would they leave it in just to get rid of it later, you know? 
And then you also got to ask, like, would they just not be able to add powerful weapons anymore? See, that's the only, I think, good thing that Sunsetting does, is it get, it does that. It cycles out weapons and changes the betas. But, like, and again, another problem, it's like when you look at the Adored, it's literally the uh, Beloved just with a scarf wrapped around it. You know? Like, it's just a weapon we had previously, the model and all that shit, and it's just been scarfed. I don't know if it's the same uh, roles or anything. I, I'm not too sure, but I, I, I wouldn't think it is, since, like, it is meant to be a pinnacle, not pinnacle, a ritual drop or whatever they call it now, because <laughs> them type of weapons have been through so much different namings, it's mad, you know? And like, even just moving away from that real quick, like when you look at exotics, like exotics are like the most reliable thing you can have now. <laughs> like, I have, I think it was the Armatarium Titan chest place or something like that, it's the one that allows you to throw double grenades. I like, that's I think my highest stat roll that I've gotten because that's the only one well it wasn't ours to get it's just it dropped for me when I was getting it like doing some uh I think it was like the first double nightfall drop weekend or something and we just grinded it a bit because it was actually fun at the time but now like me and my friend don't fucking play anymore so like I'm kind of just alone and I think that's another reason I've been playing destiny less as well it's not because of the states in pvp I couldn't give two shits really like it's another subclass man just a tap, bro. Nah, no. I'm not going to be like that. Like, I do understand people's frustrations. I've been, like, pissed off a few times when getting frozen. And especially when I play on PC, because I don't have stasis myself, so I can't even counter it with stasis. So I have room to complain, goddammit. But, um... Nah, what you call it? Yeah, back to exotics, sorry. Let's just stay back on target. Like, exotics, armors, and uh, weapons, like, obviously they'll be staying... Well, <laughs> you, you hope they're not getting sunset. Ma oh, man, I'd fucking hate that if they just like, Hey, guys, so exotics are now getting sunset. Then the game would literally... Well, I say the game would die, but the game has fucking died multiple times since come back. So, like, <laughs> who knows at this point, man? Who knows? Um, but, yeah, no, like... It, it's weird when you think about it, because the exotics, or at least the exotic armor, kind of represents what, like, Destiny used to be. You used to be able to just... Get your piece of gear, level up all the way, and if it's good stat roll, you keep it. If it's not, then, of course, you'd replace it with another one or keep it to have different mods on, you know? Man, I just, I'm still waiting for the day we get exotic class items that allow you to wear two exotic armor pieces at once. Even though if it, it, even if it is just a trans effect difference, uh, I'll take it, man. It, it's just cool having, like, two exotics on, you know? But then again, it doesn't really matter if it doesn't do much else. Unless, like, unless it has, like, this magical feature that allows you to get certain extra experience and certain activities. Which, honestly, why not? Why, why couldn't they do that? But then again, people would be like, oh, that's pay to win if it's a pair of, like, the Witch Queen or Life Fall. It's like, yeah, fair enough, fine. Um, Sunsetting. I know I've had more gripes of Sunsetting. Oh! I fucking subclass Sunsetting. You know that like subclasses you paid for during Forsaken which are like free now well actually nah that's a fucking shit point to bring up but y you know what I mean oh look they're, they're going soon well I say soon but it probably won't be going for a while as um I think it was Rikakis that said it but, like Bungie are not gonna bother work on the old subclasses yet since that's not their money making directive right now and people might be like, oh, money making. Like, yes, it's a fucking business. Bungie is a business. They have fucking shareholders, I'd assume. They need to make them happy, all right? Like, that's the whole reason Eververse exists and shit, and why I haven't... Okay, I, I say I haven't, but I have. But that was for the empath empathetic... Empathetic... Empath you know, that fucking sh ghost of the heart, all right? That shell. Because of that, uh, like, I bought some silver just to get it. And I still have silver left over so I can buy the seasons. Because, again, I haven't bought Beyond Light. I have it on my Xbox. But if my Xbox dies, then, uh, yeah, I, I just simply won't have Beyond Light for a while. I might wait until, like, the uh, uh, Destiny bundle comes out. Or, like, the collect not the collector's bundle. The le legendary bundle, or whatever they call it now. Where you can get, like, Forsaken, Shadowkeep, and uh, Beyond Light together, you know? But anyway, sorry, I know for that side rant. I actually can't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, sorry, subclass unsetting. Subclasses 
in my opinion, shouldn't be sunset. Now, what they should do, if they were smart, is implement it slowly, but give you a choice on the same subclass, unless there's technical issues, obviously. So, like, if we go to... Um, I'm trying to think. What subclass is, like, the same? Arc Strider, right? So, if you have, like, Arc Strider, and they say, like, you have different... Uh, like, there's different choices to choose. Arc Strider does not have that. Arc Strider has three different trees for the same thing. You can't tell me that you cannot make, like, most of the perks or some of the perks into nodes, alright? Like, the, the middle tree where you spin the fucking arc blade, like... That's simple, just leave that as like maybe, uh, I think it's a fragment they would call it, because again, I'm not really in tune with like what stasis is as well, but I know there's aspects and fragments, and I think aspects come before fragments, or you, you put on the aspects, then you put on the fragments, but yeah. So like, maybe have that as like a fragment or something that allows you to do that, but actually no, maybe if an aspect so it's less powerful. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, Arc Strider, if they were aiming for a subclass first, it would have to be that. I know it's unfortunate, but like, if they were to do the other two classes, they'd have to make sure they pick one where, like, they're not exactly, like, leaving a subclass out. But even then, like, you know that big giant node, like, at the top left corner that, like, Stasis has? Have that be a drop-down menu. Boom. Easy fix. You're done. So, like, if you were doing, like, Dawnblade, but you wanted a uh, Well of Radiance, boom, swap it. And then, like, you know, the menu would change and shit, you know? And of course, if that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Because again, I said there could be technical issues that they don't really know how to fix or what to do with it, you know? But anyway, yeah, just, just before this video ends, I want to say, guys, I'm not, like, I'm not hating on Destiny, in a sense. I'm just trying to give it some, like, criticism. Probably the same shit you've heard from everyone, but I just want to put my two cents into the bucket. Um, will I continue playing Destiny? Obviously, because I've been playing it for, what is it now, seven years? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's seven years, give or take. That's madness when you think about it. I most likely will buy the next seasons. I'll probably buy the next, like, expansion or two. Uh, well, that depends if my Xbox lasts and Game Pass lasts as well. Because the longer Game Pass lasts, the less time I have with Stasis on PC. Even though I really want Stasis on PC because it's so much sexier on PC. But anyway... Uh, thank you, Guardians, so much for listening to this video. If you uh, liked it, obviously like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. I was going to say some cringy Destiny shit, but I'll, 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 I'll save you guys from the cringe for a bit. But anyway, just thank you guys uh, so much for watching. Goodbye.